Hey everyone! After staying at various accommodations, I have encountered two hotels that are redefining what eco-friendly hospitality can be. Today, I'm excited to take you on a tour to these incredible hotels. Our first stop is in Tallinn, Estonia, where I came across Hector's Container Hotel. They've transformed a abandoned railway depot into a hotel using 84 shipping containers. These containers have then been repurposed to create these cozy modern rooms. This place is a perfect example of creative upcycling. Every detail is carefully thought out. They use locally made Estonian products for everything from shampoo to laundry detergent, which cuts down on transportation emissions. Even these soap containers are made from upcycled beverage cartons, giving what could have been waste a second life. One feature that stood out to me was their approach to water conservation. The hotel encourages 10 minute showers by cutting the hot water off at 10 minutes. Honestly made me much more aware of my water usage. The Container Hotel also takes waste management seriously. They have an extensive system for recycling and composting with clear instructions for guests. Staff members then carefully sort through recycling before sending it to the local waste management center. Properly sorting our waste can actually significantly reduce our landfill contributions as many of these items can be composted or recycled. The sustainability theme extends beyond the hotel as well. The entire neighborhood, which was once a neglected area near the port, has been transformed over the past two decades. Now, it's filled with upcycled buildings, community gardens, and great cycling and walking trails. This is a true testament to how sustainability can revitalize an entire area. Now, let's hop over to Munich, Germany, where I stayed at the Wonderlock Hotel. This place takes a different approach to sustainability, focusing heavily on energy self-sufficiency and innovative waste management. Firstly, the hotel has solar panels and purchases green renewable energy to supply their energy. On top of this, the hotel has implemented a system in their restaurant that converts organic waste into biogas. This biogas then powers parts of the hotel, which is a great example of turning what would typically be discarded into a valuable energy resource. While their system is commendable, I couldn't help but think about its potential for expansion. Currently, it's limited to the restaurants, but imagine if this could be implemented hotel-wide, providing compost bins and guest rooms and educating visitors about proper waste sorting could significantly increase the amount of organic waste collected on site. Outside of energy generation, I also found Wonderlock's commitment to local sourcing equally admirable. They have a rooftop garden that supplies a portion of produce to the restaurants, and they source ingredients from within a 40 kilometer radius of the hotel. This not only reduces transportation emissions, but also supports the local community. The Wonderlock Hotel in Munich is part of a larger hotel chain with ambitious sustainability goals. They're aiming for net zero emissions by 2050, and they have already made significant progress. In just one year, they've managed to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by 66% just from switching to green energy sources. Both the Container Hotel and the Wonderlock Hotel are proving that hotels can be so much more than just a place to sleep. They can be catalysts for change, demonstrating large-scale sustainability practices that could revolutionize not just the hospitality industry, but also our approach to urban living and resource management. If you've had any experiences with eco-friendly accommodations, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.